Breaking GOP House intel says that there is overwhelming circumstantial evidence that points to Wuhan lab as the COVID origin. Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of the Washington Examiner. But before we begin, we would like to make a quick disclaimer for YouTube. The following is a news report. This news report and everything that it says does not represent us. It does not represent what we believe or we think regarding coronavirus, its origins, the Wuhan lab or anything like that. We are just reporting the news about what the GOP House Intel is saying and talking about when it comes to the Wuhan lab as the origin of coronavirus. Thank you so much. Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of the Washington Examiner and it says, House Intelligence Committee Republicans released a report on the coronavirus pandemic on Wednesday and pointed the finger directly at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, arguing that there is overwhelming circumstantial evidence supporting a hypothesis that COVID-19 originated in that lab. Officials from both the Trump and Biden administrations have said that the Chinese government worked for over a year to stop any independent investigation into the origins of the virus. Both administrations cast doubt on the manner in which a joint study from China and the World Health Organization was conducted earlier this year. Though the WHO China report said that a jump from animals to humans was the most likely cause of COVID-19. Though numerous Trump officials have pointed to an accidental escape from the Wuhan lab as a highly plausible or the most likely origin for the pandemic. Led by Representative Devin Nunez, the ranking member on the House Permanent Selects Committee on Intelligence. It says that the 21-page Republican report by the name of In Focus COVID-19 and Wuhan Institute of Virology, it lays out what the congressman saw as the case for considering a leak from the Wuhan lab. It goes on to say that the House GOP said that by contrast, Little circumstantial evidence has emerged to support the PRC's claim that COVID-19 was a natural occurrence, having jumped from other species to humans, including the fact that Chinese authorities have failed to identify the original species that allegedly spread the virus to humans, which is critical to their zoonotic transfer theory. In March, Tedros, which is the head of the WHO, said that the joint team had fully investigated the potential of COVID-19 originating through an accidental leak from the Wuhan lab, a hypothesis that he insisted needed, needed further study despite it being deemed extremely unlikely by the team, which claimed that the most likely origin was a jump from animal to animal to human. It finishes off by saying that the GOP report said that since 2012, GOP members of the House Intelligence Committee, quote, have been examining the growing threat to America posed by the communist Chinese government and the People's Liberation Army. And that, quote, this unclassified interim report, it is part of our ongoing efforts to ensure the American people are well informed of this danger. They went on to say, quote, to protect American citizens from future pandemics, the U.S. government must place pressure on China to allow full credible investigation of the source of the coronavirus pandemic and to allow probes of likelihood that it resulted from a lab leak, according to the GOP. The House GOP went on to say, quote, the U.S. government must also provide a full accounting of any American cooperation with the Wuhan lab's coronavirus research, including the support of these projects through U.S. government funds. 
All right, folks, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below regarding this whole situation. Thank you so much for joining us here at the newsroom. Make sure you visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and you join us on the next one. Don't forget to share this video on social media and click the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and also click that bell. My name is Jen Goldstein, and I hope to see you very soon. But until then, peace.